ऑप्शन ए सर्च टेक्निक यूज इन कंप्यूटिंग टू फाइंड ट्रू और अप्रोक्सीमेट सॉल्यूशन टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड सर्च प्रॉब्लम ऑप्शन बी शॉर्टिंग टेक्निक्स यूज इन कंप्यूटिंग टू फाइंड ट्रू और अप्रोक्सीमेट सॉल्यूशन टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड सर्च प्रॉब्लम ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज नन ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सर्च टेक्निक्स यूज इन कंप्यूटिंग टू फाइंड ट्रू और अप्रोक्सीमेट सॉल्यूशन टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड सर्च प्रॉब्लम ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जेनेटिक एल्गोरिथम टेक्निक्स आर इंस्पायर्ड बाय ब्लैंक स्पेस बायोलॉजी ऑप्शन ई इवोल्यूशनरी ऑप्शन बी कार्टोलॉजी ऑप्शन सी एनाटॉमी ऑप्शन डी इकोलॉजी राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इवोल्यूशनरी ओके सो जेनेटिक एल्गोरिथम टेक्निक्स आर इंस्पायर्ड बाय इवोल्यूशनरी बायोलॉजी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेन वुड द जेनेटिक एल्गोरिथम टर्मिनेट ऑप्शन ए मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ जनरेशन हैज बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड ऑप्शन बी सेटिस्फैक्ट्री फिटनेस लेवल हैज बीन रीच फॉर द पॉपुलेशन ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज right answer is option c both a and b okay so the genetic algorithm terminate during maximum number of generations has been produced and during satisfactory fitness level has been reached for the population okay next question the algorithm operates by iteratively updating a pool of hypotheses called the option a population option b fitness option c none of these right answer is option a population the algorithm operates by iteratively updating a pool of hypotheses called the population next question question number 5 what is the correct representation of genetic algorithm option a genetic algorithm included fitness and fitness threshold values and p p here p stands for random hypothesis Okay next option genetic algorithm include fitness fitness threshold p stands for random hypothesis as you know and here r is also included r in stands for random variable okay option c genetic algorithm included fitness fitness threshold p and r is as above p stands for random hypothesis and r stands for random variable and m stands for mutation okay and option d is genetic algorithm included only fitness and fitness threshold okay so according to this correct representation of genetic algorithm is option c and it's included genetic algorithm fitness fitness threshold values and p r and m okay so don't be confused here P stands for random hypothesis R it stands for random variable and M stands for mutation okay so this is correct one next question genetic operators include option A crossover option B mutation option C both A and B and option D none of these right answer is option C both A and B next question Each scheme the set of bit strings containing the indicators as indicated as option A zeros and ones option B only zeros option C only ones and option D zeros ones and asterisk s asterisk okay so in included each scheme the set of bit strings containing the indicator as with the help of zeros one and a star means asterisk okay so the three are included in it zero ones and a star so right answer is option d zero ones asterisk okay next question zero multiply 10 represent the set of bit strings that includes exactly option a 0010 and 0110 option b 0010 and 0010 option c 0100 and 0110 option d 0100 and 0010 right answer is option a 0010 and 0110 okay next question correct h is the percent of all training examples correctly classified by hypothesis h okay so here 
H stands for hypothesis. Okay. Then fitness function is equal to option A. Fitness H is equal to correct of H ki power 2. This is power guys. Next uh, option is fitness of H is equal to correct of H ki power Q. 3 means okay. Option C fitness of H is equal to correct of H. Option D fitness of H is equal to correct of H ki power 4. Okay. Right answer is option A. Fitness of H is equal to correct of H key power 2. Next question. Statement genetic programming individuals in the evolving population are computer programs rather than better strings. Is true or false? Is true. Okay. So genetic programming individuals in the evolving population are computer programs rather than better strings. Is true. Next question. Blank space evolution over many generations was directly influenced by the experience of individual organisms during their their lifetime. Option A. Baldwin. Lamarckian. Option C. Bias. Option D. None of these. Right answer is option B. Lamarckian. Okay. So Lamarckian evolution over many generations was directly influenced by the experience of individual organisms during their lifetime. Okay, next question. Search through the hypothesis space cannot be characterized by option A. Hypotheses are created by crossover and mutation operators that allow radical change between successive generations. Option B. Hypotheses are not created by crossover and mutation operations. Option D. None of these. And here option C is missing. Sorry for that. And... Uh, Focus on all options guys. This is very important question and here right answer is option A. Hypotheses are created by crossover and mutation operators that allow radical change between successive generations. Okay. Next question. ILP stands for option A. Inductive logical programming. Option B. Inductive logic programming. Option C. Inductive logical program. Option D, inductive logic program. Right answer is option B, inductive logic programming. ILP stands for inductive logic programming. Next question. What is are the requirement for the learned one rule method? Option A, input except of set of positive and negative training examples. Option B. Output delivers a single rule that covers many positive examples and few negative. Option C. Output rule has a high accuracy but not necessarily a high coverage. Option D. A and B. And option E is A, B and C. Right answer is option E. A, B and C. Okay. So, they all are requirement for the learn one rule method. Okay, so it's included first one input accept a set of positive and negative training example is true. Option B means uh, output delivers a single rule that covers many positive examples and few negative. It's also required. And option C output rules has a high accuracy but not necessarily high coverage is also required for the learn one rule method okay a very important question guys next question blank space is any predicate on its negation applied to any set of terms option a literal option b null option c clause option d none of these right answer is option a literal next question Ground literal is a literal that option A contains only variables, option B does not contains any functions, option C does not contains any variables, option D contains only functions. Right answer is option C does not contains any variables. Okay, so ground literals is a literal that does not contains any variable. Okay, next question. Blank space emphasizes learning feedback that evaluates the learner's performance without providing standards of correctness in the form of behavioral targets. Option A, reinforcement learning. 
Option B, supervised learning. Option C, none of these. Right answer is option A, reinforcement learning. Next question. Features of reinforcement learning is option A, set of problems rather than set of techniques. Option B, RL is training by reward and punishment. RL stands for reinforcement learning, guys. Okay. And option C, RL is learning from trial and error with the word. Option D, all of these. Right answer is option D, all of these. Okay, so features of reinforcement learning included set of problems rather than set of techniques is true. And uh, reinforcement learning is training by reward and punishment. Yes. And as well as reinforcement learning is learning from trial and error with world. Okay. Next question. Which type of feedback used by RL? Option A. Purely instructive feedback. Option B. Purely evaluative feedback. Option C, both A and B. And option D, none of these. Right answer is option B, purely evaluative feedback. Okay. Guys, now let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.